Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get darker tones into your images. I've done something kind of similar before, but it was more to do with like a cool moody look. This particular look is actually another request uh, that I got very recently. And I thought since I had a few spare minutes tonight, I would finally get around to doing it. It's going to be pretty simple and... I mean, these tones probably won't work for every image. I think darker tones, if you've got a dark image already uh, that's in low light, that always helps. I think that always adds like more mood to the photograph and it usually just works quite well. Brighter images, it can be a little bit harder to kind of uh, get that effect. So I'm actually going to use a bright image, as you guys can see at the moment, uh, just to show you guys how to get that sort of look with your images. So first off... I'm going to get a solid color. I know it's like a huge surprise since I do this in all my tutorials. But anyway, um, the first color I'm going to choose is kind of like a brownish color. And this is also kind of like a faded look. So I guess when I'm trying to achieve a faded look with my images, I, I tend to not go for really bright colors. Uh, but this particular color that I'm going to use is 574040 and press OK. So it's kind of like a reddish brown. I'm going to switch this to lighten. This will always help give the image a faded look when you when you lighten a color like this. And then I'm going to bring the opacity down to about 48%. So that's what that has done. So already that's really given it a faded look. Um, we just really need to get it looking a little bit darker now and a little bit moodier. So I'm going to bring up curves as I usually do. And I'm going to put in a few points. So the first one's going to be 22 and 0. The next one is going to be 60 and 65. The next one will be 141 and 152. The next one will be 216 and 221. And the last one will be just 255. So I'll show you guys what that has done. That's given it a little bit more darkness, and I guess it's kind of made it a little bit murkier with the tones. Um, the next adjustment layer I'm going to add to the image is Selective Color. And I'm going to just remove a little bit from the yellow in the reds. Uh, so minus five. And then I'm going to just focus on the whites, neutrals, and blacks as usual. So the whites, I'm going to move cyan to plus four and magenta minus six and plus 16 for yellow and zero on black and then neutrals first will be plus two for cyan plus four oh sorry that is minus four and minus two for yellow and zero for black and then for the blacks I'm going to use minus one, plus five, and plus five, and leave the last one at zero. Okay, and then I'm going to add another color, and this one's going to be kind of a cool tone, like a blue color. So that's 5E, 7, 3, 9, 1. And we're going to set this color to multiply. And this will always help get your image looking a little bit darker. Um, it can tend to make the image look too flat and really bring the highlights down. So you just have to be careful of that. But we're going to set the opacity on this to 13%. So I'll show you guys what that has done. And it's just given the image a little bit more of a cool look and brought the highlights down a bit so it doesn't look so bright. So usually when I'm trying to do that, I'll either use Darken, Multiply, or Color Burn. Usually these five I will use for that sort of thing. Uh, and then the last adjustment we're going to add is just a Vibrance to bring it down a little bit. So about minus five. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys a before and after. So this is the before. So it's very bright, as you can see, very contrasty. And now we've just given it a really faded look, um, given it a little bit more moodiness and just brought it down to a darker kind of level. Now, obviously, all these adjustments aren't going to work on every image, so you can, you know, adjust 
these layers as much as you like. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like on another image. So this is the image I'm going to use. So I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to drag all these layers across from the other image I was working on into this one. So already that's really brought the whole vibe of the photo to a different level. So this was the original on that and that's what it looks like now. So on this particular photo, I would consider the tones maybe a little bit muddy, um, probably too muddy. So I would maybe bring the browns down just a little bit and maybe even add like a levels in there just to give it a little bit more contrast, but still have it looking dark. Okay, so another before and after, before and after. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Um, I'm always happy to take on requests as usual. So if you guys have any, please leave them in the comments section below or contact me on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you can. Um, I really enjoy doing these sorts of tutorials, as I said in my last video, because they are quite easy to do. And this is my favorite part of Photoshop, like working out different colors and, and tones for images. So it's something that I always enjoy doing. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching once again, and I will see you next time.